My name is Ralph. I'm leading the research and development department for Racket Sport. Today we will show you how a tennis racket is made. In the beginning we will show you how we store our materials and of course as with a lot of materials it's important to store them in a cool place. Like with cooking it's very important to only use the best ingredients. This is the carbon fiber and carbon fiber is really a special material because you can use it in many different ways. At the pre-forming stage the pre break is cut according to specific dimensions. The different pieces are then put together and here it definitely helps that the pre break pieces are very sticky. On the other side this is also a danger because if you want stick together in the wrong direction you get a real problem. After the pre-forming we go on and we use this kind of carpet of different pre break pieces and with table rolling we make it our tube out of this. And this tube is later on the base for the racket frame. We go into the mold. Here, pressurized air is applied to the bladder which is inside the tube and thereby expands all the pre prep fibers to the mold. The mold is heated at about 150 to 160 degrees and it takes about 10 minutes till the racket is actually cured and we finally have our tennis frame. The next step is to trim off the excessive resin and then we go on to a special surface treatment with vibrating stones. The next step is that the racket has to be prepared to being strung. So what do we need? We need holes for the grommets. Therefore we go to the drilling machine and the racket is automatically drilled with the right string pattern. The next step is so to say the icing on the cake. The racket will be painted. Just like with food, there are many different tastes in tennis, if we talk about rackets. Some like a crisp frame, some like a plush frame. Some like a lively frame, some like a more dampened frame. And this is why it's very important that we try to make the best racket for you out there, the customer.